Today was a historic day for space flight missions. Elon Musk's SpaceX had another successful rocket launch. Four astronauts safely deposited into orbit. But this time, SpaceX was not playing second fiddle to NASA. It was the main engine of this mission, marking a whole new chapter in privatization of space travel. Here's a detailed report. It is a new era for space flight. The government monopoly is unraveling. Private companies are taking their place. On Monday, Elon Musk's SpaceX launched another the mission. The will retract to 45 degrees away from the rocket. A Crew Dragon capsule lifted off from Cape Canaveral in Florida. Its destination, the International Space Station. A 27-hour journey for the four astronauts on board. So why is this mission so special? For the first time, NASA was hitching a ride. Both the capsule and the rocket were designed and built by SpaceX. The first ever private mission for sending Americans into space. The launch was a seamless affair. It took 12 minutes for SpaceX Falcon rocket to put the capsule in orbit. This is how NASA Commander Mike Hopkins summed up the ride. And thanks on to the entire uh, Falcon 9 team. Well done. That was one heck of a ride. There was a lot of smiles. I don't know if you can see on the video. The crew named their capsule Resilience a reflection of the world's battle against COVID-19 and racial injustice. It will remain docked at the space station until early 2021. NASA and SpaceX have signed a $3 billion deal. Six missions are part of the contract, this one being the first. In the next 15 months, we should be flying roughly seven Dragon missions. Uh, and this mission represents the initiation of a dragon in orbit continuously, knocking on wood, um, and uh, certainly is uh, really the beginning of a new era in human spaceflight. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence attended the launch. As the crew lifted off successfully, he celebrated the moment with an elbow bump with NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. President-elect Joe Biden congratulated NASA and SpaceX on Twitter. He said the mission was a testament to the power of science. SpaceX may be leading the privatization race, but it is not alone. Amazon's Jeff Bezos also wants in. In 2000, he founded Blue Origin. The company has successfully tested vertical takeoff and vertical landing rockets. Blue Origin's focus is on space tourism. It has been roped in by NASA for the Artemis lunar program. Look at that stability. So stable. Touch. Oh my God. Another key player is Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. Despite repeated setbacks, the company has not abandoned its mission. Branson says he has received $200,000 each from 680 aspiring space tourists. It is super, super bright, very high definition. And then there are aerospace companies like Boeing and Lockheed Martin. Both have secured a role in the upcoming lunar program. Countries around the world are welcoming this change. India recently opened its space industry to commercial players. The second half of the 20th century was marked by a space race. It was a tussle between two countries back then. Today, as private companies join the fray, we could be headed to another space race. Bureau Report, We on World is One.